Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and it is Friday, TGIF, day, I've lost track of the number of days we've been in isolation here, <laughs> but we're still here. They're all merging together. Yes, it is uh, March 27th, Friday, and uh, it doesn't really matter if it's Friday, Saturday, or Monday, it's just, it's the same old day, weekends don't exist anymore. <laughs> what is a weekend? I know, right? <laughs> Well, I hope all you guys are staying safe and healthy and not sick. We've had a little illness coming through our come through our house. We're waiting to get test results back. My father's been pretty sick, so we're waiting to see if he got the crud or not. But uh, only uh, time shall tell. Only time. Well, here in Florida, they're taking up to like ten days to get results back for COVID. Ten? Yeah, ten I days. The average is like three to four days. No, in Florida, they're taking up to ten days. It's been crazy. And uh, it's one of the reasons why they're uh, thinking Florida might be the next epicenter. But who knows? I'm not going to be uh, oh, a pessimist. We're going to be optimistic about it and say it's going to be taken care of. But um, anyway, enough of that. Uh, I hope you guys are having uh, uh, at least a safe uh, time of all this. Um, uh, I know it's not fun. Um, I'm going stir crazy. Uh, we all are. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, that's what... That's what uh, alcohol's for. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, don't do that. Um, but anyway, uh, let's talk about some of the other stuff that we're going to have coming up. You know, because of this whole coronavirus and all this, we, you know, Nick and I were talking. We decided to do another live event, a uh, web event, um, which we were going to do anyway. But this one, you know, usually my web events are between 50 and 100 bucks for a six-hour class. And uh, so we decided to make this one five bucks. So on April 11th at, uh, it looks going to be April 11th at 11 a.m. Uh, our time, my time, Eastern time, uh, Eastern Standard Time. What's that? 11. 11, 11. We're going to have another live web event, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's basically an introduction to animation. So if you have little kids, it's going to be perfect for them. You can follow along and little flip books on paper, whatever you want to do, because I'm going to talk about the basics. I'm going to talk about timing and spacing and all that through showing you how to do the bouncing ball, which is the very first thing any animator learns how to do, or 2D animator. Uh, I'm going to take you through the bouncing ball, and then I'm going to show you, after that, the flower sack test, which is basically taking a flower sack and giving it personality just through its posing and doing some animation with that. So that's a lot of fun. And then we're going to finish out the day talking about lip sync. How do we do dialogue? It might get Dustin to do some dialogue for us. <laughs> get down. Get down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then we'll animate to it. And I'll show you how we do that. So that is going to be a lot of fun. So once again, it's April 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, Nick, Nick was saying that uh, uh, up in Pennsylvania, they're having to wait nine days for tests as well. But anyway, really? that's crazy. But um, uh, but April 11th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to do the Introduction to Animation, a six-hour class. I'm going to keep you guys occupied for six hours. I'm going to do a little singing, a little dancing. <laughs> yeah. I'm singing while I'm drawing. <laughs> so anyway, my lips are dry. Lips are dry? Yeah. Um, it's cool, but it's I hope dry. to see you guys there. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And like I said, it's only five bucks. Five bucks for six hours. That's less than a dollar an hour. Come on. You can't beat it. That, that, that's a steal right there. It is a steal. Practically giving it away. Yep. Speaking of giving away, keep in mind, remember, my introduction to animation course um, is free. And we're keeping everything right now deeply deeply discounted oh by the way back to the the uh my live event it's uh it's at creatureartteacher.com slash live slash live l-i-v-e creatureartteacher.com slash, slash live and uh uh and then that which gets me brings me over to our <clears throat> our other products my introduction to animation course is completely free so if you want to get that um, head on over to Creature Art Teacher and you can get it there. And everything else, we've just slashed the heck out of it. Everything is like deeply, deeply discounted because we know everyone's having a tough time right now. So um, we want to do our part. 
so everything is is uh, way on sale. I can't remember exactly what the percentage is, but um, and also my brand new lighting course is out, and it's still I think fifty percent off. And you got that one, yeah, that one. That one. Uh, and so that one's been really successful. That one's really been moving. A lot of people are are raving about it. They're enjoying it. So that makes me happy. And uh, so there you go. Am I missing anything else? Um, procreate. Uh, got some procreate stuff. Yeah. Oh on yeah, that. not really. The, I mean, we got all those mobile courses. App and, yeah. Uh, no, those, oh, the mobile app. Always remember, you can get my mobile mobile app. It's for uh, Apple TV, iPhone, and uh, iPad. And uh, go over to the uh, App Store, Apple Store, Apple App Store, whatever. Apple, and Apple. Uh, word search either Aaron Blaze or Creature Art Teacher, and you can get it there. And uh, that way, you know, if you're laying in bed on your phone, you can get educated. At the same on, your, time. on your iPhone or yeah. your iPad. Yeah, <laughs> we got a we got a Droid version coming up soon. Droid. Android. A Android. Android. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Boy, what are you, spoken, you? spoken like a, spoken like a, a true old man. <laughs> As usual, I've got my critical sidekick with me today. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, Dustin Blaze, and in Sarasota, we've got Nick Birch, and he's doing his thing. Nick, 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 Nick Birch, and so he's uh, he's manning the wires there. So today, today we thought we'd animate. And I was thinking it would be kind of, I always, I thought it would be kind of fun to do like little PSAs, you know, for during this COVID thing. Things not to do. Things you know, not, not to, do. to do. We can all say, yes, make sure you wash your hands and blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to, th I was trying to think of something that really could be broad and I wanted to demonstrate anticipation and action and all that. So I thought, hey, a guy sneezing would be kind of fun and funny. And uh, and so if we kind of couple that up with, what not to do? What? <laughs> keep not your sneeze. Yes, keep your sneezes to yourself. So we're gonna have a guy sneezing today. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna animate. And so I sat down. Literally, I had ten minutes before we got started, and I designed this guy. I'm gonna give him a little bit more hair. This Hi, is our, Jesse. Hi, Gabe. This is our sneezy guy. Oh, and I want to do a shout out to Carolyn Wilson. Who made it home? Yay. If I remember, Caroline uh, Caroline was with us as a guest last week. She sat right behind me, and uh, and she is now, as of this morning, back in jolly old England. And uh, my my good friend Jesse, and uh, as well as our our friend Gabby, has joined there, and they're saying hi and good morning. Hello. Hello. So here's this dude. So this guy, we just designed him really quick. Figure he'd be, he looks like a guy that's going to sneeze, doesn't he? Let's give him a bigger nostril. There we go. Uh, Josh, Hello. Josh Barry is asking, uh, what are you animating in? Oh, this is TV Paint. Good question. I use TV Paint to do my 2D digital animation. So um, it, I'd love to do it on paper, but I can't. It's a little hard for me to do all that live to shoot and uh, time it and all that kind of stuff live so uh, so I'm not going to so there he is there's our guy I can't wait to see you there Jesse I'm so excited to see you alright there we go I'm going to take a little screenshot of him <laughs> uh, because I'm going to have to dump him here so I'm going to put him off to the side uh, Trocon says that uh, your character looks uh, a little tired there <laughs> well <laughs> He's had the he's had the virus. Maybe he's just a little. Uh. And Anissa says, uh, "Hey, Aaron, love the finished uh, building illustration." Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Let me see here. There we go. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a way. Of YouTube question, fun. Sir Aaron, is it possible for you to release a book of your own regarding animation or your experiences as an animator? Yes, it is possible. Uh, is it likely? No, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> actually, no, we've been talking about doing that. We're definitely actually going to uh, release a book, uh, actually very soon, um, of my art, but not of animation yet. We have talked about taking my courses and turning them into book form, which could be kind of cool. And uh, Frankie Bay says, hello, fellas. 
Hello. Hello. And uh, your your brother, Uncle Travis, says uh, hello, brother. Hello, Travis. I'm I'm drawing a guy sneezing today. And uh, we were on the phone with Uncle Travis last night. And Mia says, uh, "Are you two meters away from Dustin?" I'm. We are, uh, are we a, a meter and a half. A meter and a half. Like, so if I was two meters away, I would be up against that wall over there, sort of. So here's our guy. I'm not even going to thumbnail this. We're just going to dive right in. Which um, is not something I usually do. Usually a thumbnail. Ian Tom. I hope that's the way it's pronounced. Uh, he asks, uh, do you usually use photo reference uh, to design your characters? Um, no. I don't usually. Sometimes, not all the time. Not all the time, exactly. And let's see here. There we go. Let's give him some... <laughs> Gotta have ears. I like breaking that silhouette. And Chelsea Henry says, uh, Hey, Dustin Aaron, watching the, this stream for, uh, for a little bit, and then I'm back on the road, back home to Florida, from my campus in Tennessee. Right on. Right on, right on. <clears throat> Let's see Up here. on the open road. So this is, uh, what's his name? What, do you wanna, what are we going to name him? Um... Georgie. Georgie? <laughs> Hello, Georgie. Georgie? Uh, let's call him uh, Travis. Travis. This is Travis. <laughs> this is Travis. <laughs> You're probably going to be like, not cool, man. And Danielle um, Putik says, uh, please make your courses into book form. <laughs> we will at some point. To comments, those are some big ears. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm going for the, the human Dumbo look. Yeah. <laughs> he says, it's like you knew this corona was going, going to happen, and having business from home is like a total norm for you now. Yeah. It really is. So I want to I want to shrink him up a little bit because I think um, I want to have some room for him to anticipate and then sneeze. We're gonna have another guy over here. You shouldn't sneeze on your friends. Uncle okay, Travis just responded with, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> or uh, it's it's a U H, so I think it's more like a. Uh <laughs> yeah, Nick just reminded me to remind you guys. Uh, I forgot to mention um, we have gone back to extra streams as well. So we are doing a stream every Tuesday at 9 a.m. our time. That's so that we can accommodate some of our friends over in Asia. Yeah, so 9 in the morning. 9, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, do your, check your, what your time zone is and... Check your schedule. Check your schedule. It's right. So let's just get him out of here. And um, Elodie... Uh, asks, uh, do you test animation on Procreate? I have. I have. I like it. And uh, Josh is asking, uh, which tablet are you currently using? Is it the giant Wacom? Yes. Uh -oh. You go to the camera. Yes. You can see how big it is. It is massive. It's what huge. Is that, uh, what is that, 12 inch? 13 inch? It's 32 <laughs> inch, baby. 32. There we go. YouTube question, why are you drawing windowed? Oh, because um, I can't, the screen is, uh, um, I can't play back it because of the high resolution of the screen. I have a hard time playing it back uh, at the right speed, so I have to draw small. Yeah, the technical reason is because 
the animation requires so much information that is run by the processor, and the and the live stream is running on the same thing. It also requires a lot of processing, and so it it but so it really slows it all down. So the smaller the window, the easier it is for him to work. I gotta get him like anticipating. Uh, or that. I need I need your uncle Travis here to uh. And uh, to model uh, for me. Marianne is asking, uh, does your live animation class have a limit size in it? No, this one we're not we're, we're not going to be able to do a lot of questions and answers because um, I want to I just want to keep it open to a lot of people. I mean, it's only five bucks, so um, I just want to I want to be able to have a lot of folks you know be able to participate. So um, there is no limit. Dave's on. Dave. There's, OMG, it's added, added, <laughs> added. <laughs> uh, we will have a new Mac Pro soon, and hopefully our our uh, staggering or slow playback issue will be a thing of the past. All right, so here we go. So this is our guy. Uh, let's create another layer, another drawing. And uh, right now I've got my onion skin on, so you can see the previous drawing. Now, we need to have him anticipate. He needs to uh, kind of, you know, go up uh, before he sneezes. Oh, there you go. Know. Nice big funny face here. So, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Charlotte Young is asking, hey, Aaron. Uh, I'm currently struggling with backgrounds for my animation project. Uh, do you have any ideas or tips? I'm currently a struggling final year illustration student. Uh, struggling with backgrounds? Yeah, backgrounds and uh, uh, yeah, struggling with backgrounds for the animation. Uh, for Keep animation them simple. Project. Keep them simple, and make sure you have a nice clear area for your character to to act in. That's pretty much all I can tell you right now. Gabriella says, uh, thank you for so many lessons. Come to Ecuador one day, please. <laughs> sure. Sorry. I got a... Trying to find... <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to find his, his, uh, his pose. It says, uh, Dustin, that photo of the bird looking like a dragon, it's a photo your dad should redraw as as a dragon. That would be epic. Uh, talking about the um, the pelican going for that dive at the, that last... Oh, yeah. That last possible second. Because when uh -huh. you see the silhouette, it looks like a... Uh, has like a silhouette of a dragon. The way the wings are all spread out. Spread out. Spread out. You know, all... <laughs> Just says watching Aaron try to fake a sneeze is amazing. You gotta feel it, baby. Jess says happy to be back. Uh, been been a while since I. It's been a while. Been, been a while. Since I first saw him, <laughs> oh my God! Uh, but um, it's been awesome. I've been able to see a live stream. Hope you're doing well, Aaron. Well, well, thank and you. Hope here, and I hope you're doing well too, Dustin. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Well, thank you. Getting ready to sneeze. I'm all out of comments. I'm out of questions. I'm all out of love. So I'm lost without, without you. you. Well, I couldn't hit that one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good timing. Yeah, just wanted to let just want to slide that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> Have you bought enough toilet paper? Uh, well, I think we're supplied enough for now. I'm, not, I'm definitely not a hoarder. I didn't hoard any, so <laughs> yeah, didn't get I've like got the normal 30. amount of toilet paper. We're on. We're definitely on. Uh, uh, definitely locked down. Rationing. Rationing. Yeah, the ladies of the house um, are having to use tissues for number one. And how's your dad feeling? Dad's feeling. Uh, better I'd say hello hey Vedanta's up uh, hi. Oh, hi and uh, for all the newcomers that are wondering this is uh, the software is TV paint TV paint yeah I'm just I'm, I'm drawing too slow right now. Let's really, let's really get them all scrunched up. Hey Aaron, uh, how much time do you usually need to finish an acting shot from start to finish, as in hours or weeks? Um, about a week. This is looking like his chin. I don't want it to look like his chin down here. I want and uh, to neck. Matias asks, uh, so fun to watch you guys working. Uh, are you guys ever coming to Stockholm, Sweden? Scow. Uh, I'm sure at some point in the future we will. We don't have currently any plans. My bird says, does do the sound of a spider spider fence sneezing? So if the call is, it'll be like. <laughs> Let's just get that hand right in there. Get it right in there. Do you have enough drawing paper? Oh yes. I mean, if you run out of drawing paper, you have you you have a centig, so. Marcella is asking, hi, from uh, from Houston. From uh, Houston. From Houston. Uh, for the live workshop, do we need any specific computer programs or experience? No. This uh, is a complete, this is for complete beginners, all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. <clears throat> uh, YouTube question. Hi, Aaron. You are a great artist and great teacher and have a great sense of humor, and I really enjoy your demos. What should I carry for sketching every day? I am not a professional. A sketchbook and a pencil. That's what you should carry. I'm going to get rid of this drawing. I don't like it. There it goes. Bye bye. Uh, uh, so, uh, what's uh, I also wanted to finish that comment. She also oh. says, uh, "Love these uh, live videos. They make they make my day. Stay safe, y'all." Yeah. Right. Okay. You may continue. There we go. Um, YouTube question: Do you have a course introducing digital painting? I'm following along with your Human Anatomy and Wolf Anatomy course. But I don't know how to use digital paintbrushes with my illustrations. Yes, I do have a course on uh, drawing and painting in Procreate and drawing and painting in Photoshop. So you can check out both of those if you'd like. <coughs> I'm going to bring him way down here. Alex says, uh, hi. It's been a while since I've... Uh... It's been a while. Since uh, been able to see, uh, been able to watch the live stream rather than playing back. And uh, how is Snow Bear coming along? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's We're not working the, on uh, it right now, it's it, but it's burner. it's getting there. It's just uh, we stay, we just um, yeah, we have to put it aside to do courses and 
and wasn't hot. I'm going to get him to squint. Uh, Josh Bear asks, uh, do the artists uh, they had uh, with you last stream have any sort of uh, social media accounts for their art? Probably talking about... Uh, um, oh, to share the art? Yeah, Caroline and uh, Ronnie. Oh, uh, yeah, Ronnie does. Ronnie uh, and, and Caroline. It's Caroline Wilson and Ronnie Williford. Ronnie, I, I'm not, I think he has Instagram. Are you sure about that? I'm not. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, Caitlin says, after I'm done with uh, going through the Procreate tutorial, what should be the next one in my annual membership library? It's up to you. Whatever you want. Whatever you're shooting for. Getting those arms up in the air. Matt Yoakum says, hey, Dustin, love the photos on your Instagram. Thank you. And uh, to Aaron, on your rim light layer, what is the blend mode on? On the rim light? It's uh, usually just on normal. <laughs> and Lodi says, next live stream, a song with your guitar. <laughs> That'd be really fun, actually. It's been a while. <laughs> Dick Love says, uh, "Thanks for spreading the love last night, Aaron." <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was. We were having a good. We had a good time last night. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you did. Nora comments, I love TV paint, but most companies here are using Toon Boom. Bummer. I still animate for myself in TV paint, though. It's a good software. I love it. Uh, Tom Dude asks, would Krita or animation paper be a good intro before getting TV paint? Uh, I don't know because I just use TV paint. Uh, um, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I don't know. Timmy asks, uh, "Hi, Aaron. Do you always draw this solid uh, during rough stage?" Yes, I do. You did? I do. He does. And Hajar asks, uh, how can I find a mentor? I'm working on my character design portfolio, but since I don't have no one to critique my work, I feel like it's important. How do I reach out to professionals to let me know if I'm on the right on the right way? You just reach out. You're doing it right now. I don't have time to do it because of my, my workload, but you just reach out in the way you're doing it right now and someone out there will, will bite. It says, Dustin, you should take photos of the empty streets now. Only if there's wildlife on the streets. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Tom suggests make some snot coming up, come out of his nose. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be wet for sure. Uh And Jar also says, uh, and thank you for the character design tips on YouTube. It's very helpful. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, Martin's asking, how was your how was your uh, Skype call with the Mar Bancroft brothers? Oh, it was fine. It was fun. We've known the, we've known each other for thirty years, and so whenever we get together, we just rip on each other. Erica uh, says that Ronnie does have an Instagram, but just hasn't hasn't uh, posted lately. 
and Caroline's on. Caroline! She says, hey, Aaron, Dustin, Nick, V, and everyone watching. Hey, Caroline. We, we miss, miss you already. We Come miss back. You. Yeah. She just got home today. I'm going to stretch his body way up. Get that shirt way up in the air. See, this is the anticipation. 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 Says, Hi, Aaron. Making me wait. Thanks for streaming. I often find that I tend to animate too many frames and my timing is slow. Slow and mushy. Most times I need to remove frames to get it right. Is there a way to work out the timing better? Yes. Stay don't, safe, guys. Don't do as many frames. Just do your key drawings and then work out your timing then. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'll show you what I I'll show you when I get to a point here. It's making me wait. Arturo's asking uh did you make a model sheet for this character? No, we just kind of made them up. Actually, I want to get his arm, get his arm up like this. <laughs> That's just Dustin. You have to record your spider sneeze sound and add it to this animation. <laughs> <coughs> There we go. Get his arm up in the air, get the silhouette. This one over here to our, towards us. There we go. Uh, have you guys seen Beastars on Netflix? It seems like something up your alley. It's essentially if Zootopia was directed by Quentin Tarantino. It's a, um, yeah, it's a uh, anime. I've heard about it, I just haven't watched it yet. Caroline says, miss you too, guys, and it's freaking cold. <laughs> <laughs> we, we floridized her. All right, so there's our next key. Big anticipation. I don't like this hand over here. I want to clear out that silhouette a little better. Maharshi says, due to the lockdown here in India, we're able to spot sabar deer and Indian civet cats? Civets. Civets. Civet cats here on the roads next to the national parks. Wow. Yeah, a lot of the wildlife are are coming out in the lockdown areas. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Yellowstone got locked down. Oh, really? Yep, so I think that trip is done. No! Yep. Like, done for the year, or are we just going to reschedule? Well, it's definitely done for, for May. Anticipation. He's coming down. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> coming down. Do you have course? In, uh, no, sorry. During your time at Disney, did you meet Andreas Deja? Yes, Andreas and I have worked together for a long time. We've known each other for years. Fun just says, "Hey guys." And uh. And Hi. <laughs> Who is it, Vanya? Yeah, Vanya. Hey, Vanya. Why do I keep saying Vanya? Vanya. Vanya, Vanya, Vanya. Vanya, Vanya, Vanya. Vanya, can you hear me? <laughs> uh, Anissa uh, asks, hey, Aaron, which is easier to do? Drawing the keyframes and then the in-betweens or just drawing as you go? It depends on the action. If it's fast action, then you just kind of draw as you go. But if it's an easier conversation than in betweens. But if it's if the if the action is a little slower, then um, then it's easier to 
do it what's called pose to pose, which is the key. Key framing. Yeah. There we go. See his arms coming up. Head comes down. <sighs> Eyes half mass. There it is. Mouth is starting to open. Shirt, arms coming up. Big anticipation. Uh, when I 2D animate, I have trouble keeping the volume consistent. Uh, do you have a Do you have a trick for that? Yeah, it, you know, it's just time and experience. Um, you, it, we all tend to have our volumes change on us as we animate because we're we're into the action. You just have to over time. You just got to really discipline yourself to uh, to not let that happen. And a lot of times, I just compare. You know, I keep comparing back to the first drawing. Like right now he's getting a little bit big, but I'm just going to let it go. If I were to shrink him, I might shrink him a little bit that, maybe that much. Oh, no. What? Uncle Chow says, more importantly, we're missing my birthday. Damn it. I know. But we're not going to miss that, Travis. We're going to just reschedule it. I mean, it won't happen. We won't be there on your birthday, but we will definitely be celebrating something. It's gonna happen. Uh, Hajar asks, uh, how many stories uh, or projects should I include on the character design portfolio? Uh, on the character design portfolio? Yeah. How like, many? How uh, many? Like maybe designs or how many stories? That uh, there's not a specific number, but I, you know, I would say between ten and twenty. So here I'm going to go <laughs> Let's see here. He <laughs> said, "Doesn't please say dang it, dang it in Raws, my my boss from Monsters Inc's voice if you like if you like to." <laughs> dang it. <laughs> dang it. Dang it. <laughs> have you seen Tiger King on Netflix? Yeah. <laughs> I have seen Tiger King. I could not look away. What is Tiger King? It's a documentary about the lowest dregs of our society here in the United States. The what? There, it's about these this guy that runs a zoo, well, a whole bunch of people, and he's just a meth addict, crazy, just horrible. Sounds interesting. Your sister has watched it. <laughs> it's like the biggest thing on TV right now. Is it a, uh, is it a movie or a show? It's a documentary. Oh, it's a documentary. Money says, guys, you are crazy. Can't wait to make up for the missed Florida trip after all the big smile pictures of Caroline Wilson. Okay, here's the big sneeze. I'm gonna stretch those ears. And uh, Anton says, I would love to see you animating on paper sometime. What? Animating on paper? What sorcery do you speak of? Witchcraft. That's impossible. Here you can see him starting to come forward. Got to close that mouth. Uh, Alec is asking, how are you selecting, moving, and resizing on TV paint? Oh, there's a, 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 a button up here. It's a resize button. A resize button. Button. It gives me the opportunity to resize. It's a button. Button, button. Who's got the button? It's a button. What movie was that? What? The button, button. Who's got the button? I don't remember that one. It's a Disney movie. Disney. Not Treasure Planet. 
button, button. Who's got the button? It's Alice in Wonderland. It's the uh, it's uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, was it? Yeah. God, I haven't watched that movie in years. Since you're a baby, probably when you were a little toddler. Well, not that young, but I haven't seen probably at least a good three or four years. Because I think I did watch it at one point uh, up in Canada somewhere, but Canada. Canada. Yeah. Oh, and I'm finally catching up on my. Uh, on my Disney Plus because it turns out that they worked all the kinks out on the browser yeah. version of it and so I finally watched through all of uh, The Mandalorian oh you just now did? just now did well um past couple of nights but and what was your conclusion? I liked it and I'm looking forward to season 2 Uh, he's asking, have you seen uh, Kingdom on Netflix? Kingdom. I don't. I don't think I've seen. I don't. I, I've not seen Kingdom. No, I haven't either. Really stretching this guy out. <laughs> and uh, Julio says, Aaron. Nice job on that perspective illustration you finished. Uh, and yesterday, um, uh, you finished yesterday and posted. Oh, thank you. Uh, how the hell did you come up with that thumbnail? <laughs> oh, just just drawing. Just drawing out of my head. Let's see here. I want to get nice, clear silhouette. I want the arm moving forward. <laughs> and he says, asking, hey, Aaron, are you Hi. doing the sneezing clip because it's corona season or just because this is this was uh, on top of your head for the demo? It was, well, I wanted to do something that shows anticipation. And I thought, well, you know what? A sneeze could be interesting. And then uh, it was... That was the the impetus behind it. It just happens to be that it's Corona season, so now it's going to be this is what you don't do. <laughs> what do you think is the most difficult acting? Um, what or what do you think is the most difficult um, to animate? Acting, um, expression, animating an animal or a real person. It's all hard. There's no such... It's all... It's all hard. But to you, what do you think is the most difficult? It's all hard. <laughs> it's, 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 it's... There is no most difficult in my mind. Which one do you struggle with the most? <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with all of them. You can see I'm struggling here just to do a sneeze. You know, it's all... you got to find it. It's always a struggle for me. Hey, Aaron. Uh, can I you just don't give up. Huh? I just don't give up. Uh, can you become a great animator just by self-teaching as opposed to going to schools? Sure. I think you can. I think it's possible. There's stuff. There's plenty of stuff online on the Internet to learn from. Any animation study methods you would recommend... Is it a good exercise to watch a 2D animated movie frame by frame and redrawing it to study the motion and stuff? Yeah, I can. I don't think it would hurt. Definitely. You get to see how distorted... I, I think that's the main thing, is really understanding the distortion. But really, another thing, too, is you want to you wanna understand acting. Because animation isn't just movement. It's not about how something moves. It's about really you know what the idea is that's coming across in this case I'm really focusing more on movement because it's such a broad action right but it's really not a it's most animation is about acting and emotion so here's our key so he's normal and then and he's just about to blow his top 
about to go. <gasps> Actually, this guy here, I am going to shrink. Is there a way to freehand select and copy from one frame and paste it into another frame? Yes. Yep. It says it doesn't seem to work on TV Paint. It does. It does work on TV Paint. Watch this. I can go and grab my lasso tool like this and go, okay, we're going to take that and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go to my next frame and I'm going to paste it. See that? So I just pasted. Nice. So, and then I can just take it and move it around if I want to. So yes, you can do that. Nice. Did you ever try 3D animation? What the heck? What is this sorcery? What's going on here? What the? What the? Per what the? Per what the? Per what the uh, no, I've never done 3D animation. I started to learn a few years ago, but I was directing a movie at the time, and I just didn't have time to continue. There we go. Dustin, have you catched up on uh, A Hero Academia Season 4? I have not. I need to uh, at some point. A Kingdom is a Korean zombie show. Oh, okay. I'm going to pull him back here. <laughs> Let's see here. I got to do... <laughs> I got to do this funny. Consider signing recommendation letters for students aiming to get to animation college? No, not really, because I don't sign those unless I know the student. Is a keyframe a specific thing or just what you find most important? It's a it's a specific thing. It's it, well, it's most important, but it's also a, spe a, a specific thing. See his lips are vibrating. Uh, do you use the timer sometimes to help decide the timing of your keys and overall action? No. I never do. I always I just feel it. It's a feeling. I can feel it in my nuggets. So when are we when are we going to see your new podcast with the Mulan crew? Uh, I Tom, I'm, Tony, and Armand? Yeah, I don't know when that's coming out. It's funny, we didn't talk about Mulan or anything like that. We just talked about working from home. Actually, I'm going to throw this way out here. Fabian says, uh, Hi, Aaron. I'm currently working on an animation short film and directing it. Uh, what advice can you give me to do it well? And I greet you from Spain and happy quarantine. Listen to your crew. Don't, don't dictate. Just know that... Um, you know, listen to what they have to say, and then uh, you'll be much better off. Hey Aaron, can you do a live stream for animating on Procreate sometime soon? I really want to follow along to a live stream while I try to animate. Okay, you could probably do it. Oop, I'm just spit on myself. Nice. It is great, nice. You're, you're great, nice. Uh, you could follow along while I'm doing this. You know, you can do that. So here's here is his mouth just going. Bruh. What kind of animation do you feel tells most about someone's ability to animate? Subtlety. How subtle they're able to get something across.
What could have been your favorite show that you animated? My favorite show? Lion King? And Brother Bear? Definitely. Sorry, I'm thinking here. <coughs> and what could be the best animation tools, like application for a newbie to start learning with? Pencil and paper. Use a, uh, if you're really new at it, get a, sti a stick it notepad and draw on that and do little flip books. Those are fun. Matter of fact, we might recommend people do that for the uh, for the for the live event. Maybe we can do that, Nick. Maybe we can put out a thing recommending people bring you know like a a, a sticky note pad. They can do a bouncing ball with that really easy. I think I think it would be really nice to teach them how to um, to do the uh, um, the hand flipping. Uh huh. Of the pages. Oops. Trying on the wrong layer. Yeah. He's all. He's all uh, getting stretched out. Uh, does TV Paint come as a disc? I figured mail would be delayed if it's from Europe. Yes. So it's not just a software you can install from from the internet. Like you actually have to order. Yep, it's a disc. Oh really? Is that what that? Oh. That's it. And then it comes with a dongle as well. So you have to have the dongle in while you're working. Which I think you can see. Yeah, you see that little light? That it's little right, green light right, that right there. That That's the dongle. Interesting. Is it though? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it interesting? That's just crazy. <laughs> Just get away! There's a guy right here. Or maybe we don't have him sneeze on anybody. We just say, cover your mouth when you sneeze. So I'm going to animate him right back to his original spot. Back to there. Nice. It is great, Nate. It is great, Nate. To have like a runny nose, like a like some like some snot hanging out of his nose when he come when he goes back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make the sound. I we had to actually record one of your sneezes. <laughs> 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 Your sneezes are hilarious. You, also, but you can, you can, can 12 frames per second make smooth animation? Yes, it can. Just not really fast. Sorry, Dustin. Neil said uh, you can use download. You can just download TV Paint as well and then use the dongle. So you don't really need the CD for TV Paint. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, look at that. Learn something new every day. Every other day. Every day now. It's been a while. Since I learned something <laughs> brand Spain can do. <laughs> <laughs> an idiot. That's funny. Uh, wasn't it enough and often practiced to work more than 40 hours a week in studios? And how often was it to work way more than 40 hours a week? Every crunch period. Every time we had a crunch period in making our movies, 
We did. We were doing about seventy hours a week. And when when was your usual crunch crunch times? Like, like when during like what part of the year? You okay. What part of the year is usual? <laughs> uh, usually, it was usually about a year before the movie came out for animation. Yeah. Um, is yeah because um, when I was working in the visual effects, we worked on multiple movies, and they and a lot of times they're usually there are a lot more movies coming out during the summer, and so our overtime ends up being. We end up having what's called overtime season, which usually is like during the summer, uh, not summer, during like the winter, like last half of fall, throughout winter, and like the first half of spring, like usually somewhere in there is the overtime season. So that's what I was wondering about the whole like specific time of the year. Are you all stocked up on toilet rolls for the latecomers? Uh, I got enough. I definitely got enough. What's your favorite James Baxter animation? I'm Any, anything he uh, animates. <laughs> I'm particularly fond of the of a shot of Rafiki moving his hand, saying, "Ha! You see." It's where Rafiki is actually twirling the bowl. That always got me. I remember when it came through in dailies, when it first got animated, and all of us were just staring at it because the perspective was so perfect. Okay, V. I had a brain fart. What is it? Oh, uh, just. Is Vedanta giving you a hard time? Yeah, she was just asking, are you okay, Dustin? Because of my little brain fart talking about the whole. my personal work, work past. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen Onward? Uh, not yet. Has it come out? I yet? did. We watched on. It, it's on. You can get it on pay-per-view now. Oh. Yeah, because uh, they're because all the movie theaters are closed. They're they're you can pick. Uh, yeah, I thought Disney Plus was. I watched um, it. I liked it. Wasn't crazy about it, but I liked it. Yeah, aren't they putting it on early on a uh, Disney Plus as well, or is it only on pay-per-view? I don't know. Uh, are most animators left-handed, like you and Glenn Keen? I don't think Glenn's left-handed. And uh, no, I wouldn't say most are left-handed. There's a lot that are, but I don't think Glenn is left-handed. Just kidding. I'm just trying to get his mouth just all over the place here. <laughs> just. Are you satisfied with all the movies that you made, or uh, do you want a better work than that? Like, do you want, or was there any more that you wanted to work on? I think. Uh, and thank you very much. You are my childhood. No, I mean, I'm happy with everything I worked on, if that's the question. I, I would love to have worked on some other pro, uh, projects. Sure. Oh, but Travis uh, says, I am left-handed. Don't like that. His arms have got a... Hey, Aaron. Uh, what art books would you recommend to learn to draw a cartoon and learn cartoon anatomy. Well, cartoon anatomy is not... There's no such thing as cartoon anatomy. There's anatomy. Because we base everything on our... On, real, on the reality of life, you know? So, 
Um, but as far as animation, there's some really great books. That's what's the question, right? Uh, yes. Uh, like what? What book? Like the what Animator book Survival Handbook right. by Richard Williams is great. The what again? Animator's uh, Survival Handbook, I think it's called. Survivors Survival Kit by Richard Williams. Whoa. Hi, Aaron. Two questions. Okay. Uh, one, uh, is it better to make the animations in paper and then scanning it, or making animations digitally in softwares? And two, aside from Toon Boom, what other programs were used in the 90s slash 2000s to make the digital ink that can I use? That I can use? Say that again. Question one. Uh, hey, come on, man, hurry up. Is it better to make the animations in paper and then scanning it or making the animations digitally in softwares? It depends on what you want, man. You could sit down and try it out. I can't say which one is better than the other. I, I like d working digitally but it just depends on what your tastes are and question you know, drawing on paper and then scanning it's a lot of work I don't want to do that and question two aside from Toon Boom what other programs were used in the 90s slash 2000s that uh, to make the digital ink that I can use I have no idea that I don't know there wasn't really that much digital animation back in the 90s too yeah, back in the 90s, early 2000s. There wasn't, so I, yeah, and I, I was doing everything on paper, so I have no idea. That That's probably what the software is, is paper. So I'm going to copy this guy over here. Copy! <laughs> and I'm going to paste him there. So now I have some place to come back to. Oh, uh, onwards on Disney Plus on April 3rd. Oh, thank you, Erica. And Dummy asks, how can you control the line with your tablet so perfect? I don't know. Hold on, sorry, I'm thinking here. Gotta think. says we just got Disney Plus back in England and love Baby Yoda. Yes, Baby Yoda's adorable. Baby Yoda doesn't do anything. <laughs> he's done he's done stuff. Okay, he made he raised a couple things. Have you have you gone to the end? Went all the way to the end. It's the longest series that achieves nothing. Nothing happens in that entire series. Uh, do you think of anatomy when you draw cartoon style? Yes, I do. Absolutely. How do you color your animations in TV paint? One frame at a time, or is there a better, faster way? Um, no, I'm, I mean, they're, depending on how clean everything is, you can uh, you can go a little quicker by you know kind of mass and and the intricacy of, of your drawings, but generally you got to do it the old-fashioned way. You just got to go drawing by drawing. That's that's how it works. Have you ever done complex animations in ones? All the time. All the time, baby. Yep. Yeah. All the time. Uh, Sophie asks, uh, Hey Aaron, uh, I was using gouache paints yesterday, but I noticed sometimes when I mix the colors, they seem to separate when they dry. Does this mean I'm just not mixing them enough? 
uh, any beginner tips? Thanks. It might be the quality of the of the gouache that you're using. And some colors just don't want to mix. And he says, hey Dustin, is Travis, is Travis your brother? No, it, he is uh, dad's my brother. brother. Travis is my uncle. Yep. My uncle. Uh, Caps was a digital painting system in the 90s, wasn't it? Yeah, Caps was. Well, Caps was not just a painting system, it was compositing system as well. But, I mean, that's that was proprietary. That wasn't something that you can go out and get. So, that wasn't really an answer for that guy. Right. That person. program did they use on Treasure Planet considering it was a mixture of both 3D and 2D? Also, any tips for it artists... The, it just, was the CAP system, as far oh, as I know. That's the CAP system? Yeah. Also, any tips for artists just starting to learn to animate? Just, just keep, draw. Just draw, yeah. Just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. Just, just keep, keep drawing. drawing. Just keep drawing, drawing, drawing. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. There we go. Sorry, I'm getting kind of quiet here because I'm trying to figure out this recoil back to where our character needs to be. Focus mode engaged. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Sorry. Uh, have you tried Clip Studio Paint for illustration or animation? No. I get all kinds of questions about, have you tried this software, have you tried that software? No, I, I don't try a lot of different software. Um, I, uh, I use Photoshop, I've tried uh, Painter, um, but I really don't use a lot of different uh, softwares, only because I just don't find the need to. <laughs> Have you tried soft serve? Soft serve? Ice cream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Glad is right handed. Yes, that's what I thought. What size paper do you recommend if you're working traditionally? Um, I use 16 field paper. almost all the keys in here. What time is it? Uh, it is 2.13. Oh, we've only been at it for an hour. That's not too bad. <laughs> v says time for a haircut. Huh? V is saying time for a haircut. <laughs> yeah, we were going to buzz my hair. Uh, we decided last night we were going to buzz my hair live on on uh, during the during the live stream, and I mean buzz it like bald, because I'm I'm going to do that. I just I want to get rid of. I'm just going to buzz it for the summer. Really? Yeah. No, going bald. Yeah. Remember when we you and I shaved our heads back then? Well, yeah, for mom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I kind of liked having a shaved head. Not the reason. Though. We had a shaved head, but I like I liked having a shaved head.
<laughs> He's all shocked. Mm. How is the isolation going over there? Well, we're isolated, other than Dustin. <laughs> Dustin's here. Hi. A Dustin's family. We're all staying pretty isolated. Yeah, I've, I've been still doing my occasional trips over to Lake Woodruff, but because there's hardly anyone there usually, it's no big deal. Uh, do you use a normal uh, basic brush, like a rounded brush? Uh, for what? For drawing, for sketching. For what? Like, digitally or? What digitally, yeah. Um, oh, for this? Yeah. This is just a regular. Paint, Photoshop. Just do you use the basic brush, not your any your. I I make I have a custom brush that I've that I made. Are you animating one who keeps touching his face since it's advanced not to do to Corona? <laughs> yes. Kirkmeyer says, "Hey guys, are you, are you guys going? Are you getting uh, blah, 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 brain freeze? Um, are you getting drunk tonight?" <laughs> It's Friday. Friday. No. I don't get drunk. Come on. This is a family show. Well. This is a family show. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that anatomy. Holy crap. Get that up there. B says, my daughters have been practicing for, for this self-isolation for a year now. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> uh, my brushes that come default with the program, what's your favorite of these uh, standard... Uh, Photoshop brushes. The pencil. The pencil? Yeah. When do you animate traditionally and when do you animate digitally? And is paper animation not out of date? Uh, I don't really do paper animation anymore only because it's much more convenient to, to animate digitally. I can get, you know, I can shoot my, I can draw just as well because I'm on a Cintiq. And, um, and I uh, can get, you know, playback and everything else instantly. So it makes a lot more sense to work for me anyway, digitally. Uh, besides uh, TV Paint here, are there any other uh, programs that you would uh, recommend for, an for animation? Uh, no, I, I, I really haven't used any other ones. I know there's Toon Boom, but I've never used it. He says, oh, I've been practicing self-isolation for three years. I'm pale as a, like a vampire now. <laughs> uh, how did you find your animation style, and what advice can you give to someone who's searching for his or her own style? just it'll it'll emerge i didn't i didn't find my style it just evolved style is something that just evolves uh it, is a cintiq better um is cintiq better or an intuos uh or is it up to the artist it's up to the artist 
I personally like the Cintiq a lot better. Uh, I got a bunch over here. What size paper do you recommend if you work traditionally? That's why I think I already said that one. That was 16 field. Dan asks, in traditional animation, after you've drawn a scene, what's the next step for that stack of paper? It usually gets shot. It goes to the camera department and gets shot uh, and put on film for dailies, cut into the reel. And uh, we'll see if it works with the rest of the story. We make sure that it does. Um, then, um, if it does work, which it usually does, then it goes to the cleanup department. And the drawings are all redrawn, but nice and cleanly, like you see up on the screen. And those are the, those are the actual drawings that you end up seeing. I'm all out of love. Well, so much behind you. I love Nick says, you won't look right bald. <laughs> Good time to break out the art of Aaron Blaze hats again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look all right bald. I'm, I'm a little bit lumpy headed. I think I'm going to look like a biker now that I'm fat and I got to go to <laughs> All you need is the leather, leather vest. Yeah. So there's the... Uh, completely shocked. What the what the hell was that? And then he goes back to normal. Yeah, I got something stuck in my teeth. A piece of my lunch. Nice. It is quite nice. It is quite nice. So let's do this. Let's do like a eight frame count there. And we'll put him on eight frames here. Put them on 12 frames here. Two frames. Two, whoops. I got it. Come on. Two frames. Actually, put that on six frames. And then four frames. Do you get shoulder or neck pain from using a Cintiq? No. I do not. Big sneeze. Oh, <laughs> right here, we gotta have him go. It's a little slower. <laughs> What's the normal frame count per second? 24 frames per second. That big anticipation. Let's have him anticipate even more. Uh, let's go 16. Whoops, come on, baby. 16 frames. Look how long we hold on that. Big anticipation. <gasps> <laughs> now let's break it down a little bit. We're not going to get all the drawings. Listen, how does it feel to have a father that just draws this easily and effortless, effortlessly? Just, you know, he's my dad. Just, <laughs> I'm used to it. Let's do this. <laughs> you know what we should have done? Um, let's jump over to... Let me see here. Oh, it's up here. It's up there. Let's go to YouTube. Up, up, and away. 
Giants in a way. Go to YouTube and let's type in sneeze. Twelve year old sneezes twelve thousand times per day. Wow, that's oh, a God. drag. Uh, sneeze sound. There we go. We can pull that off. Sneeze sound effect. Let me pull up sound here. Oh, that one. <laughs> that's not bad, actually. That's kind of funny. Let's record that. So stop. Okay, I'm going to come over here and get my screen record. Screen record. Screen flow. Screen flow. Okay, I'm going to record audio from computer. Okay, and we're going to turn that off. Dust computer. And we are preparing to record. Let's put it up here. Play. <laughs> okay, stop that. And let's stop our recording. It's up there. Bring that down here. Yeah, are there any exercises you recommend uh, to learn how to? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Say that again now. Are there any exercises you recommend to learn how to squash and stretch for someone who has trouble with no realism, uh, aka have trouble drawing something that looks incorrect? Oh. You just gotta, it's just time and experience. It really is. Um, sneeze. Um, you know, the, look at other animation. Uh, there we go, I'll export that in there. Look at other animation and, um, you know, you'll, you'll get it. And, uh, when you worked at Disney, uh, did you have reasonable quotas to me, or were they difficult and stressful? Uh, they were, they were, uh, hold on, load soundtrack, desktop, uh, so very often they were, they were a little stressful. You see that again? Well, I, I, for some reason, I got the. There we go. Oops, that's not the one. Why is it doing that? <laughs> so, <laughs> let me play this again. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to stretch this out. I want to bring this. Let's see here. People are thinking, people are, people are thinking that that's, that's my sneezing sound. No, it is not. <laughs> that is not my I gotta turn that down. Yeah. I'm not gonna yell over that. So that's how long we're gonna hold. Right there. So 
said that. <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> so, yeah. Yo. <laughs> in anticipation, man. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it. Now. All right, no, but I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna break it down. This is too much fun. I gotta break this down. <laughs> That's one mighty sneeze. I know, man. Right. Now the question is, do I get them up even higher than this? Are these currently just the, the key poses? Yes, these are just the key poses. Oh, what was it? What was it you just asked? I'm wondering if I should get them up higher. <laughs> higher? <laughs> you mean higher? <laughs> get them up higher in the pose. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. Let's. I'm gonna break it down. To. <laughs> Sorry, Vanya. So, oh boy, I'm I am using a headset. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think uh, we made a couple of people's uh, ears bleed. <laughs> Here's our sneeze. It is quite nice. See, you never know what you're going to find on uh, <laughs> you never know what you're going to find on uh, YouTube, on the YouTube. So I'm going to pop them right up, almost right into the pose. Uh, will you ever write a how to draw book? Uh, I don't know. I, you know, that's a good question. Maybe. Well, I have been talking about turning um, the courses in, into book form. Would that count as, as that on a how to draw? Yeah. Kind of, it kind of would, I guess. I suppose the question has been answered. Got to turn that sound off just for a second. I'm all out of questions. I'm all out of questions. Sorry, I'm not dropping questions. I'm drawing. <laughs> I think a lot of people are at this point. <laughs> oh, I. What are you doing? I. I uh, lost okay. Nick. There we go. Sorry, Nick. Nick, 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 do the thing. What the heck just happened? What? That's a good question. What? What did just happen? I wasn't drawing there for a second. I panicked. <laughs> 
I wasn't drawing. Twitch question. Why is it better to redraw your tie downs on a separate layer rather than just cleaning up the roughs you've already drawn with the eraser? Um, a lot of people do that. So, you know, some people do do that. I, I prefer to do it on another piece of paper in case you mess up that, you know, during the, uh, during the redraw. If you mess it up, you've always got the original to go, that original rough to go back to. Should put some snot left over on the screen, a little breakage of the fourth wall. And what was the name of the audio record app, please? What's that? Um, it was asking how you caught the. Uh, oh, you I use ScreenFlow. It's mainly to capture video, but you can use it to also capture audio, right? Yeah. You know the ah. moment when you are about to sneeze, ah. but, you, but you can't. Yes. I hate ah. this. Ah. <laughs> there we go. So just, a, just softening it, you know, a little bit with that little in between in there. I'll throw a few more in betweens in here. This is kind of fun. You should go that much higher. You don't really anticipate when you sneeze, so you need to keep that in mind when you animate a sneeze. What? That's Hugo. So, say it again? You shouldn't go that much higher. Uh, you don't really anticipate when you sneeze. Oh, yes, you do. So you need to keep that in mind when you... You totally sneeze. anticipate when you sneeze. I completely disagree. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's all anticipation. All of that is anticipation. Some people sneeze quickly, but you're still anticipating. But if you have a shelter in place, um, and you can only have one thing to eat for a week, what do you keep stocked up? <laughs> I don't know. What would you do? Ramen. Ramen, there you go. Yeah, paiste. Paiste. The paiste. Easy to cook, easy to clean up, very cheap. Bagels. Bagels. Mm. The air crate nice. The air crate nice. <laughs> there we go. Probably some beer. How would the animators match up the lip sync so well? Did they just feel it out while listening to the voice acting? Or was the voice recording after? No, actually the voice is recorded first. It's put on film. Uh, the voice recording is put on uh, a, tr a track that moves through at the same rate as film. And so uh, you would have someone called a track reader that would go through and listen to those sounds as they went, across, as they went through the, the track. And you would have what's called an exposure sheet. This is how I did the same thing. This is how it was done when I got into the business. And so the exposure sheet is divided up into a whole bunch of columns and, and lines. Each line across represents a frame of film. Okay. Each column up and down represents a layer, a character layer. You might have several characters in the shot. Each character is going to be timed out differently. So as the as the dialogue is listened to on the film. The editor, uh, or usually it's a track reader, which sometimes is the, also the editor. The track reader goes through and listens to those sounds, and then they go back to the exposure sheet, and they write down what sound 
is falling on what frame of film. And you, so when you get your exposure sheet, it's numbered all the way from one to however long the, the shot is. So you might have a scene that's 300 frames long. And so it's numbered but 300 up to 300. And then along those frames, the dialogue is written out. And so you know exactly where to put what mouth shape. And that's how we got lip sync. And it was done that way all the way through Brother Bear. That's how we did it. Who is cuter? Baby Yoda or Margu from Klaus? Dustin. <laughs> that's not the answer. Yeah, I have to say the little girl from Klaus. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Kirk Michael says, I hate the anticipation of a sneeze when I'm driving. <laughs> I pull the most nasty phases trying to stop the sneeze. YouTube question. In animation, is there some specialist in animating effects, or the animator has to do that too? No, there are specialists, effects, and they are called effects animators. As a matter of fact, we have a good friend of mine, Jason Francoeur, or Jasno Francoeur, um, who we're talking to right now about doing an effects course for us. Ben Ward says, Aaron scrubbing the, the screen up and down is a mood. <laughs> What flavor, Erica? I would say beef ramen. Beef is my favorite flavor. Beef. Beef. Beef, 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 beef. <laughs> Your brother, right when, when he was screaming, was like, Stop it! are going to send in a hazmat. <laughs> See, this is that's a good it's a good lesson in showing you how important good a good uh, soundtrack is. You get some good sound, then that really can make the animation. Good acting, good you know dialogue acting is so important. Actually, gonna bring his shoulders right up, right away, all the way up. You do a Trevor impression from GTA Five? No, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> Was it? Well, there's a character on um, in a game called uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. His name is Trevor, and. Uh, He's kind of the crazy bum of the of the trio, and he he angrily yells and swears a lot. So I was like, yeah, no, that's no, not that's not for that's this not, show. That's not for this show. So I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to skip that impression. Hey, Vedanta. Yes. Can I have a diet coke, please? Yes, of course. I'm thirsty. You're thirsty. I'm thirsty. You're you're thirsty. Need a little drink. A little drinky. A little drinky. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> when you test out horror sound effects and your neighbors call the cops. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> See, he's going on as 
you're casually yes! <laughs> I just don't like um I don't like the recoil. I wanna to have to redraw that. I didn't like Those drawings that. are really bad. Huh? Those drawings are really bad. Hey Aaron, random question. I was just wondering what your favorite Beatle album is. Oh whoops, dog on it. That's a toughie. Probably the white album. The white album? Abbey Road's great. Abbey Road's good. They're all good. That's that's the thing. They're all great. YouTube comment. When you were looping it, it sounds like the start of the immigrant song by Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Someone get this man to the hospital. <laughs> do I want that on four? Or do I want that on? I'll put this on two, I think. <laughs> Starting to run out of questions. Actually, I'm flat out of questions. I need more. Give me more. Come on and do it. That's what Anissa is drawing while while we're uh, doing this. What's that? And this is Anissa's work while while she's watching his live stream. Oh, cool! That's awesome. I've never come across someone who screams leading up to a sneeze, only a deep breath in. Well, this is funnier. <laughs> he doesn't sneeze sneeze in his elbow. Oh, this is this is a uh, this is what, not, what to do. not to do. He's basically breaking every rule of the uh, of the quarantine. This is an obscure obscure question, but is there a standard way of numbering frames? I'm a programmer, and I like to start at zero instead of one because it's easy to count multiples. Well, there is no zero frame, so, but there is. I mean, we, I usually, I always put down just twos. So it'd be one, three, five, seven, nine, so on and so on. How's your guys' day going? So Level has done so far. So far, so good. Are you warming up before drawing and animating in the morning, or do, you, or, or do you got something like morning routine to start? Um, I just sit down and start drawing. Do you like the style of the animation they used for the '50s drive-in movie commercials? Yes. <laughs> Let's see you do your take on them. Yeah, I I I've always loved that. Missed the beginning today. Uh, was there a prelim sketches of the character, or did he evolve mid animation? He just evolved. I I I sat down. I had about ten minutes, and then I came up with the character in about ten minutes. And he's really inconsistent throughout this, but it works enough. Do you have a good application on, on iPad or, for animation? Yeah, uh, no, we don't have an app for app a animation, but we do have an app. So if you go to if you go to uh, the App Store for Apple uh, and keyword Aaron or search Aaron Blaze or uh, Creature Art Teacher, you'll find our app. Oh, dog on it. How many cleanup artists were there on a feature production? Um, usually, there's usually about a hundred. 
100. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to that big key, that right there, and we are going to push that even more. How do you define appeal in character design? Appeal um, is not necessarily pretty. That doesn't mean that that's not appealing. Appeal is, you know, if you want to really follow a character, look at a character. You can have appealing looking villains. It's how appealing that design, you know, does it, is it fun to look at? Is it fun to explore? There we go. That feels better. Big, big sneeze. <laughs> I feel like he's being tortured. <laughs> All right, let's get another in between in there. I wonder if you haven't been, if it hadn't been for Glenn Keane's mentoring, would you have continued working as an animator, or would you have left the studio to concentrate your career more into illustration? If no, you didn't have Glenn Keane's mentoring. I, I don't know. I can't. That's a hard question to answer. I, but there's a lot of great animators there. I didn't learn just from Glenn. I, I learned a lot from Glenn, but I learned a lot from Mark Henn, a ton from Mark Henn. Um, my first animator I ever worked for, other than Glenn, was Mark Kausler, who was a completely different style of animation. His is more of the Tex Avery, you know, bug, Roger Rabbit really broad style of animation which was great I learned a lot from him and you know how much he could exaggerate and get away with uh, so yeah I, I think I still would have been there for sure YouTube question I can't find the option that allows me to light a particular frame in the light table on TV paint I can't remember how to do that. It's in effects. You got to go to your effect, effect stack. Uh, let's see. Blur, color, distortion, key, motion, paint. No, it's not there. Travis knows. I just touched my nose. Dog on it. Uh, yeah, I can't remember where it is. I gotta. I gotta refresh my brain. What do you do when you feel pain in your hand or wrist because of drawing uh, a lot? I don't. Well, first of all, if I, if I, I occasionally have in the past, I stop drawing. <laughs> if, if you feel pain, you stop, right? Just stop, give it a rest. Yeah, just give it a relax. rest. Uh, how many um, cleanups did the cleanup artist have to do a day? Usually the goal was eight. But, you know, you try to do more if you can, obviously. Now, is that eight drawings or is that eight scenes? Eight drawings. And when the production goes to the cleanup, are you already on another project? Uh, usually. I mean, cleanup and animation will overlap. Uh, but animation will finish before cleanup, and then we'll go on to another production. Travis yes. Travis called to tell you something. What is it? Travis? Okay. Effects. Lightning the drawing. He's telling you how. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Thanks. And then color it's, uh, adjust. It's effects. Lightning effects and color adjust. Oh, color... Okay, I don't know. I can't find it right now. What was he talking about? Oh, just how to do the lighting. The f the question we had earlier. Hmm.
What is the maximum of drawing per second that could be used in animation? 24. No more, no less? No more. You can do less. But no more. No more than 24? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, when we were doing it. I mean, you can do up to however, you know, however you want, however many frames will go through the camera now, right? Hold on a second. Let me see here. <laughs> There's me left. Let me just check this out earlier. Right <laughs> What do you think of uh, Ralph uh, Bakshi's animation and movies? Yeah, I, I thought they're all right. I mean, I loved uh, Lord of the Rings, or The Hobbit, or, or whatever it was. Was it Lord of the Rings? No, it was. I think it was The Hobbit, wasn't it? Hobbit. It was The Hobbit, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, duck on it! I did it again. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, he he worked on uh he did Fire and Ice. Yeah. Yeah, Fire and Ice, Wizards, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Fritz the Cat. Yeah. That was X-rated. Cool. Oh, Cool World. I didn't know he did that one. Mm-hmm. what drives me nuts. I don't like this drawing. We're going to get rid of this drawing. Boop. Gone. <laughs> Let's do this again. Is there a specific species of tiger that you like the most? Well, tiger is the species. There's subspecies. Oh, so, yeah. So is there a subspecies of tiger that you like the most? I love Siberian tigers, the biggest tigers. Those are the, like the orange and orange well, and black striped ones? Well, they're all orange and black striped, but Siberian tigers are the biggest Which ones are the uh, the the white the white ones? Those that's a that's a genetic mutation. Oh. So it's still it's still a tiger. It's just that it's uh it's uh it got a genetic mutation uh, like you know like someone can be albino. Right. be doing an animation course for Procreate? Um, yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. I didn't, we talked about doing something like that. But I, I mean, you, that was you can put it in the Procreate course. In the I, I talked about in, in the Procreate course, I, I show, I demonstrate how to do uh, a walk cycle, but it's not really an animation course. Right. It's a Procreate course. Will you be using Calipeg? Calipeg? Uh, Travis uses Calipeg. My brother. He's actually working with them t to get it going off the ground. I've got a I've got a, a a beta license for it. That should be on four.
Every time the sneeze sound <laughs> sound comes on, I know it's pretty funny, right? It is hilarious. Oh, so this is weird. So the tracking information just updated. So the spare battery. Okay, are you? <laughs> I, I'm I'm looking at the question. I'm all I'm all out of questions. So okay, gotcha. I'm 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 keeping an eye. Don't worry. But Dustin's obsessed with his new camera. Oh, no, it's just this. What is it? It's a. Uh, it's going to update a few times because there's such demand for yeah. the for the delivery guys. Uh, so the so I'm actually going to be getting three different. Uh, uh, deliveries in three separate days in a row. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Like Sunday, and then so yeah, so Sunday the uh, the battery arrives, and then on the thirtieth the all the other accessories arrive, and then on the first on April Fool's Day is when the is when the camera arrives. It's like one after another after another. I've always wondered why is it that when you order a big, like a large group of things at once online, they sometimes they come in separate boxes. Oh, because they, they, uh, they came from separate places. They don't all come from the same place. They all don't come from the same warehouse. No. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Nope. All right. Kirk Michael says, Aaron, I love how you animate human characters. <laughs> Thank you. And just asking, what do you enjoy taking pictures of the most, Dustin? I enjoy taking pictures of wildlife and more specifically I like uh, I've been enjoying shooting the larger birds like great blue herons sandhill cranes um, just just cranes and herons in general I like shooting shooting those kinds of birds but um, I actually fell in love with pelicans when we were over in Sarasota oh yeah I want to go back out there and get get more photos and actually <laughs> try to get together of them. <laughs> How long would it take to make a four minute short all by yourself? <laughs> For me, probably about six or seven months. And that's if you're like sitting down working, working on it every day. Yeah. Well, the video you're working on is. Video, right? Yeah, that one's gonna take me a year. Once I get started on it. Now that we got sound in there, <laughs> like, ugh, I got a whisker. Uh, Bristol says, uh, my husband works at Amazon, even in the same warehouse, <laughs> if the items come from different sides, they can be packed into separate trucks. Oh, uh, there you go. That is weird. 
Yeah. It just creates less of a hassle. Um, than just packaging them like right where they're from. Maybe. Kirk says, "I must say, Dustin, your photos are impressive. Most impressive. Thank you. I am very happy with, with my work." Wow. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Most impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> All right. Now, the question is do I go in here or do I go in here? I'm going to put it right there. I think so all of us can agree build. that that scream is the sound everyone makes when they step on a uh, Lego barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my foot. <laughs> and the actually said them pretty similar. The 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 sound this guy makes is me when I stub my pinky toe. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely everybody. <laughs> Uh, do you have any tips for animating to music? I'd love to try animating music lyric videos one day, so any advice would be amazing. Yes, the first thing that I do when I animate to music is I find the, the, the frame count of the beat, whatever the beat is. So you want to find that beat and then figure out the frame count and make sure that you do all of your main movements according to that frame count. That way it'll look like everything's moving in rhythm to the music. So once you understand, and then you, and you do every, everything in multiples, or fractions of that frame count. It's either you know that way that way you'll end up with double beats or you know that sort of thing. So it'll all still feel like it's in the same count. You know, there's a if you have, any of you have ever seen that the hippo animation that I did where it's dancing. Oh, it's I, always a fun one to watch. Yeah, that one I did every. I, the first thing I did was figure out the frame count of all of the rhythm. And then I just stayed within that frame count for everything that I did. Hey Aaron, I signed up for a mascot design contest in my country. It can be based on any animal. I chose a cougar. Do you have any tips? Yes. Get my How to Draw Big Cats course. Bristol says, that <laughs> hippo makes my day. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, my, the best tips I can give you are if you can get access to a, a live cougar uh, and, fo and get, you know, sketches and photographs, um, that would be my biggest uh, piece of advice so that you can get some nice accuracy that way. Uh, Kirk Michael says, uh, Aaron, I take it you're not a fan of Mandalorian? I haven't seen all, seen it all, but I think it looks great, and the main character keeps getting beat up. <laughs> yeah, but that's... I, and, no, I'm not a big fan, and it's and I, I want to like it. Trust me, I love Star Wars, but it, for, for the writing, I was just disappointed with the writing because I felt like um, they broke a lot of rules of writing and uh, and it's a lot of there's just a lot of fluff in there there wasn't a lot of big story pivotal changes and it just nothing really happened in my opinion but that's just me I do, I do think it looks good I just felt like, yeah, it was, I just got bored with it because I didn't feel like anything was happening. You know, it felt, there, there's a lot of times where the character would go through all this big, you know, they, they come upon a scene and then go through all this big action and then as a result of that action, nothing changed and so you're right back where you were before the action took place, which is, and it just didn't make any sense because nothing, 
nothing changed in the story. You know, usually you have you know when you're when you're when you have a story that you're telling, you know, in every scene, you come out the other side of the scene with something having changed, whether it goes from positive to negative, negative to negative to positive, a new piece of information, whatever it might be. And there's very often that we didn't get any of that in The Mandalorian. It just, it was just something happened and then you carry on again. <laughs> Yeah, that slow build up. Here you go. So there's. We're at it for two hours now, a little over two hours and ten yes, minutes. Yes, three ten. Do I know Pac Patrick Delage? I don't. He's my animation director of animation. They probably can't hear you over the sound of the sneeze. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you worry about twinning? Um, a lot. I make sure that I'm not twinning. I try to. About what? Twinning. Twinning. You know this. You, you could think. You could argue that this is twinning, but I I have the the pose shifted enough that I think it's, you know, different enough. Twinning is when you have something happen, no, two, it's the same on either side. Oh, uh, okay. I think it's more, uh, Kurt Michael comments on the Mandalorian says, uh, love the, the, the main theme of the soundtrack. Yeah. And also, uh, I think it's more Star Wars eye candy, to be honest. Um, I agree with that, and also, but also, I know the really cool thing about the Mandalorian is, um, like, if you look, like the in the behind the scenes of the Mandalorian and how they built up the sets, most of the most of the environments is just. Like the a real realistic ground, but then everything else around is not even green screen. It is an actual like digital screen around them. Oh yeah. That gives off like the realistic lighting and everything that is uh, being rendered in real time. You're being rendered in real time. Your face is being rendered in real time. It really is, actually. <laughs> I definitely want to show show uh, the video uh, to you sometime, Dad, because it's really, really cool. Like it'll definitely make you think. Okay, we're we're in the future now. Yeah. It's difficult to follow Aaron's moves on the screen, especially when he switches layers, tools, and brushes in the menu bars. The cursor also gets lost when it uh, hits those dark, dark areas in fine detail. Is it possible for Nick to make a, um, the brushes and menus larger on the screen? Yeah, Nick already showed me how to do that, and I just I, I, I had changed them back um, before. Uh, I found it. I actually found it difficult to work uh, with the enlarge, it's especially in Photoshop. I could probably do it here; it wouldn't be that bad. In Photoshop, I found it very difficult to work with the larger, uh, um, because what it did was it it just magnified it. So if I if I made my brush any larger, the brush would get like three inches across on the on the screen. It was crazy. So I had to I had to switch it back. So, let's see here. I think the this guy has infected the whole of our solar system.
All right, let's get. Let's. I'm going to do a couple of. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do his sneeze on ones. <laughs> Bristol's asking, how much does V want to leave the house right now? <laughs> <laughs> and Manny just hopped on. Hey, Manny! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out of here! Here we go. We're gonna do the whole sneeze on ones. doing right now is just finding the main parts of the drawing. Because it's see all the sneezing and it says, congrats, we all have corona now. <laughs> well, like I said, this is going to be a little PSA on what not to do. He says, got stream on my phone and quietly watching Father Brown on Netflix and crocheting. <laughs> crocheting. She's become old before her time. <laughs> old before her time. Song as old as rhyme. <laughs> Car Caroline says, wise, very wise. Erica's Bay says, awesome. Can't wait to see the finished product. To be. Um, I shouldn't have said that. About the crocheting. Oh. <laughs> so he's bringing his mouth up. says, Heron, how much wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> ah, damn, wrong question. <laughs> hey man, it's Friday. Thank God. It doesn't matter. We're all in quarantine anyway. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to next week. What's next week? The oh, your camera. Yeah, my new stuff. I'm all like a question. I'm all out of love. So lost without you. Come on, love. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Erica Bay says this has been an awesome example of anticipation and exaggeration. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Freaking hot in here, man. Getting hot in here.
How did Aaron like Ward Kimball as a mentor? I didn't have Ward Kimball as a mentor. I met Ward Kimball though. Pretty funny guy. Wild crazy guy. Questions from Nick? Nope. Kirk says, Love Ward's gigantic glasses. They were awesome. <laughs> Martinberger asks, hey Aaron. Hey. How did you like Walt Disney as a mentor? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, he was a great fellow. <laughs> and everyone talked like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Is there any good way to know proper timing and proper spacing? Uh, it's just experience. You'll 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 get it over time, I guess, is the only way I can tell you. You know, it's... It, the one rule to remember is if it, if it looks right, it is right. Don't overthink it. A lot of people overthink it. <laughs> yeah. Thought of it. yeah, Aaron, was Walt a good guy? <laughs> oh, he was a fine fellow, fine fellow. saw Ronnie's book he got everyone to sign and uh, draw in at uh, uh, at Disney that was so cool to see everyone's drawings oh yeah sneeze <laughs> there you go folks I'm gonna uh, should I break it down anymore do you want to go anymore um, it's all up to you So let's let's put some in betweens in here. Hey Aaron, are you currently working on a movie or a series? Uh no. Well I'm working on Snow Bear, yeah. But not a movie. Or a series. So to speak. I'm working on a short.
vibrating lips. <laughs> Matt Yoakum says, holding that annoying noise gets me every time. <laughs> and Issa says, my nose is running now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to take a swim in the pool today. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds nice. In the Walmart Tiki Pond. The Walmart Tiki Pond. I'm thinking of uh, making my way over to Lake Woodruff, get some some photos as well as uh, get some footage of some foliage and water and the sky. And what not. And what not. Twitch question. Who is the most underrated animator Aaron knew at Disney? Uh, I didn't know any underrated animators. You know anybody that struggled a lot? The most? We all struggled. You know anybody that struggled the most? No. And if I did, I wouldn't say. I mean, I'm not going to pull someone out like that. But I really, uh, I didn't know anyone that was really underrated. Because, you know, people that were good were recognized. Eric Bay say it says that the pool sounds nice. Yeah, he's great nice. He's great nice. <laughs> the, he was asking, uh, did Aaron enjoy animating on Dumbo? And what was, what are his fondest memories working with that crew? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. Well, there were a bunch of swell, bunch of swell guys, bunch of swell guys. <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring them a lot of elephants in, especially the baby ones. <laughs> swell guys, swell guys. Bunch of swell fellows. <laughs> oh my gosh. We actually had to go to a circus for a whole week. Kirk Michael says, Aaron, apparently we've ran out of beer back in England. Could you possibly send me some good old American beer using Aaron Vision? No, you don't want American beer. Uh, our beer is no, nowhere near the same quality as uh, European. Who is someone you think more people should know about? As far as animators go. You know, James Baxter, ba I think everyone knows about James Baxter. James Baxter was, he didn't get a lot of the attention from the media when we were there. Um, people like Glenn Keane and Mark Henn, they all, they, they were so good on camera. Especially Glenn. Um, but I think James is probably the best animator in the world. And uh, I don't know if people really realized that at the time. And Issa's is wondering, um, hmm, I wonder if Dustin can imitate Kermit the Frog's voice. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can. No. <laughs> Kirk says, love Mer American beer. <laughs> America. America. Terrible drawings, but that's all right. Let's just get them, get them done. Get her done. Get her done. Sing Rainbow Connection. I don't know Rainbow. The Rainbow Connection. I haven't heard that one in. 
I just know the voice. I don't know the songs. What characters did James Baxter animate? He did Belle and Beauty and the Beast. He did Rafiki. He did a lot of the beautiful horse animation in uh, Spirit. Oh, he, yeah, he went over to DreamWorks. <laughs> Anytime I curve my voice, it was still a good ten. Thank you. You're welcome, Anissa. <laughs> he just cha this guy changes look all the way up through. <laughs> What's y'all's favorite beer? Well, when it comes to beer, I'm a very light drinker. I would say, like, Corona or Bud Light. I'm not, not a huge fan of, like, heavy, dark beers. But I'm more of a whiskey guy nowadays. I got, yeah, I like Guinness. Guinness? My absolute favorite is Guinness, by far. But not extra stout. I don't like it too bitter. What's your favorite, Nick? Nick's a big beer connoisseur. <laughs> Kirk says, last time I was in Florida, I bought, I bought some Budweiser with a splash of bourbon whiskey. Didn't do it for me. Yeah, yeah. it sounds disgusting. Yeah, bur yeah, bourbon and Budweiser don't quite mix too well. In fact, liquor and beer don't quite mix too well <laughs> some, uh, uh, sometimes. And Jill says, my favorite scene ever animated was done by James Baxter. Belle and uh, Beast Ballroom uh, dance scene. That's right. Pretty darn good. And he drew Beast better than most of us were drawing Beast at the time. <laughs> Erica says, get his rules. <laughs> And Caroline says, "We'll have a Guinness. We'll have a Guinness night when things return to normal." Yes, that uh, sounds like a plan. <laughs> and Jill says, "My favorite snack is a Guinness beer and a chocolate chip cookie." <laughs> Actually, that sounds like it goes really good together. fun yeah. calling it yeah let's turn it up yeah. let let it hang there yeah. yeah it's a little slow through here actually Some of them on ones. <laughs> it's a little better. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me just open that one up. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> there you go. So that's a sneeze. And you do your take, your anticipation, <laughs> and your explosion. Don't do that during your quarantine. Sophie says this noise. Into will your haunt. elbow. What's that? Sophie says this noise will haunt my dreams tonight. <laughs> and also, Angela says, "Darn it, Aaron, I'm wearing headphones." Here we go. Here it comes again. <laughs> let, let, let it. <laughs> Just like go, like do that. <laughs> no, that's too loud. It's <laughs> <That's> too loud. <laughs> when, 
when somebody steps on a Lego. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, Aaron, All right. show us how to do a swipe. A what? Uh, a swipe? <laughs> oh, I could do it. Good god. <laughs> we can kind of do it through here. I could probably get away with it. Let's do it on this one. You can kind of get away with it on this one. So what exactly is a swipe? Well, it's where, it's where you... A swipe is where you really stretch stuff. And this one, I'm just going to... I'll show you what I mean. Because that's all... Stretch on, out that head? Yeah. This is, this is what you can get away with. <laughs> and Nisa says, my ears are bleeding. <laughs> my ears! My pretty ears are bleeding! My ear's hot. It's hot. <laughs> I think it's red, too. Is my ear red? <laughs> See, as long as everything kind of follows the arc... You can get away with a lot. So watch how distorted I can make this drawing. This is kind of a wipe. Because of how much I'm distorting it. <laughs> it says, uh, you guys just blew up the speakers in my computer, thanks. <laughs> Happy to oblige. So, so there's a, see that, a big stretch like that? What it does is it covers more space, so it, it smooths out the action a little bit. When you see it by itself, it looks crazy, but when you play it at speed, it fits right in. So there you go. There's a wipe. That's a wipe. It's a wipe, and it's a wrap. It's a, it's a, it's a wait. That was kind of fun. That was. One more time. All right, folks, put your headphones off. Take your headphones off. Here it comes. Turn down the volume. I'm turning down the volume on this end. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. And remember, we've got our live uh, event, our web event coming up on April 11th uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'm going to be talking about animation. So it's and it's all it's all beginner stuff. It's going to be very very basic. So if you've always wanted to learn animation and uh, you've never really started, well, that that's going to be the event to go to. I'm going to be talking about the basics of timing and squash and stretch and all that kind of stuff, the fundamentals. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the bouncing ball. We're going to be uh, doing a flower sack uh, demonstration uh, where we put character into the flower sack, and then we're also going to be doing dialogue like we did today. Um, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's April 11th. Uh, it's a six-hour class and, uh, and, and perfect for kids as well. Um, you can follow along on Procreate. You can follow along on paper, TV paint, whatever you want to do. And, uh, and it's only five bucks, you know, it's going to be cheap. So um, we hope you guys can come out and, uh, and join us. There's no uh, limit to the, how big we're going to make it. We're just going to let everyone come on. And uh, we're going to have a great time. So it's April 11th, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget, every Tuesday we are uh, continuing to uh, add more uh, uh, live streams. Uh, so every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we're going to start doing some, some more of those. Um, also, uh, don't forget, I've got a brand new course on my approach to painting light. So it's my lighting course that, that is out right now. 
uh, and it's at Creature Art Teacher, and it's 50% off. We're, we're knocking the prices down on everything until we get through this whole corona thing. And um, so I hope you guys are staying at least occupied. Uh, I hope you had some fun today. I, I know I had some laughs. That was pretty fun. <laughs> It's always fun when you can sit down and animate and just make up stuff and oh, yeah. and entertain yourself. It's kind of it's kind of fun. And sharing it with the world. And share it with the world. We are the world. But we um the uh, anyway. Uh I hope you guys have a really great, great week and um uh stay safe, stay indoors, listen to uh, what people are saying this you know it, it's not BS it's not a freaking uh, conspiracy that's the thing that just drives me nuts <laughs> you people out there that think this is a conspiracy go put your head in the sand <laughs> my gosh um, but anyway uh, what was that um, oh it um, was a drum yeah um, so stay safe stay indoors and uh, and you'll get through this a little bit quicker okay and I hope you guys have a great week or is at least as great as you can make it. And now more than ever, be nice to somebody. Put some beauty back into the world because uh, we're really going to need it coming out of this. And so the better we are to each other, the better this whole thing is going to be. So let's get, uh, let's get busy on that. And with that, I will see you on Tuesday if you can join us. Dustin? See you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if any of you guys are not part of my Instagram, I do a lot of wildlife photography. And you can check that stuff out over on my Instagram at Dustin underscore Blaze if you guys ever want to check that out. And uh, again, that is Dustin underscore Blaze. And just go over to Instagram and see all my wildlife stuff over there. And also I got a couple of stuff along the way as well that we'll be talking about very soon in the future. So looking forward to that. And uh, until then, stay safe, everybody. Stay, in, stay indoors and only go out when needing to. And we'll see you guys next week on Tuesday morning. And until then, Cowboy Bebop. See you guys. Uh...